Where God Weeps, a program to learn more about the situation of the suffering church around the world. The construction by Israel of a 20-foot high wall around the Palestinian territories has further isolated both politically and physically the Palestinian Christians living there. We are very happy and grateful to see many tourists, many pilgrims coming to visit the holy places. From the other side, it is painful to see that the local church, the local Christians, cannot visit these holy places. Walls never bring peace. They bring more frustrations, bitterness, hatred. They create ghettos. These are the walls. We are one family, but half are here and half over there. There are also children on the other side of the wall playing, but we can no longer play together. We wait, we waited, and we wait a solution for this conflict. Till now we got nothing. The fact that there is no hope, people prefer the easy solution to leave immigration. We are eight, five boys, three girls. I'm the only one who remain here with my wife, my son. So many, many places, as you see, closed. Christians make up 2% of the Holy Land's population. We actually live in a Muslim town, while simultaneously remaining very conscious that this town is where Jesus was born. It means a lot for me to be born in the, in the city of David, in, the, in Bethlehem, the place of where Jesus was born. It would be a sad reality to have the Holy Land without living stones. Then when you go to the Holy Land, go and visit the shrines. But don't go only for that. Go and visit the living stones. Your Arab, Palestinian, Christians and brothers, we are waiting for you as we were waiting for your ancestors for 2,000 years to come and tell you, you are welcome, we love you. We gave you our Christ, we gave you our mayor, we gave you the apostles. Come and share our life. That is why it is so important that Christians should very consciously remain here. It is perhaps also important that they should feel the solidarity of the rest of the world. That living here, they need not feel either alone or in danger, for they live in Jesus' birthplace. For us, it is quite obvious that we will stay here irrespective of what happens.